。我其实问翻啦，当如果而家有声波嘅时候咧，边一个结构咧系会震动咧？第一个 concept 咧系同头先廿五条好似嘅，边啲结构咧系牵涉喺听觉嗰处先？第二个就系话啦，究竟佢哋喺牵涉听觉嘅时候系点样参与喺其中咧？呢五个结构咧我都只会摆翻俾你，我唔俾张原图你啦。呢度直头有埋啲功能啊！咁除咗一号啦，半规管唔关事之外咧，其实二三四五咧。都關事嘅，咁啊呢一個 summary 啦，就係聽覺的故事啦。咁我哋快快手咧行一次啦。如果有 sound wave 嘅時候，第一個震動到嘅咧就係我哋嘅耳膜啦。所以四號咧一定係有份噶啦。跟住啊震完之後咧，就去到啲耳骨俾人震動咯喎，因為佢就由呢個聲音嘅震動變成一個物理式嘅震動。咁所以五號咧又關事啦。由個耳骨啦，將啲震動傳就再傳到去呢個輪圓窗嗰處。咁所以咧二都關事啦。所以答案咧就係 D 啦。咁震完個輪圓窗，就去到個耳窩入面啲液體去震動咯。咁點解冇三粉嘅咧？兩 s 應該二三四五，因為喺耳窩入面嘅咧，其實係啲淋巴喺度震，就唔係個耳窩自己喺度震緊。你諗下個耳窩喺度震咧，都真係幾搞笑。但係其實係個耳膜啊、耳骨啊、輪圓窗，佢真係震動緊噶嘛。你個耳窩係冇震動嘅，咁所以答案咧就係 D 啦。咁當然呢條題目咧其實係非常之直接啦，就用 M C 嘅形式去問我哋聽覺嘅機制。咁當然啦，佢都可以用長題嘅方式去問啦。咁所以呢七步咧，大家都要知道啦。咁但係除此之外咧，大哥好興噶嘛，就係、是、反翻轉嚟問。咁佢就會問咧，如果某一個結構受損嘅時候啦。咁會有啲咩嘅疾病呢？咁當然啦，喺呢度我哋就係聽唔到嘢啦，係咪？你個耳膜穿咗啊，喺你個耳窩入面嗰啲感覺毛細胞爛咗啊，咁其實你都聽嘢聽得唔清晰㗎嘛，咁佢就會倒返轉咁問你囉。Question twenty six is asking which of the following structures will vibrate when there are sound waves? So that's why we need to identify the structure which are involved in hearing. I still use the picture from the textbook, and then we need to cross out the structure one semicircular canals because because in question twenty five we know that it is not involved in hearing. So for the second concept, we need to realize how are the other four structures involved in the hearing. So that's why I captured this mechanism of hearing for you. So let's take a look. How can we hear? So firstly, there is a sound wave. And then it will hit on the eardrum, so that's why number four will be the structure vibrate first. And the sound wave vibration are converted into vibration by the eardrum, and the vibration will transmit to the ear bones. So that's why ear bones will be the second structure to vibrate. And the vibration will be transmitted and amplified by the ear bone to the oval window. So that's why oval window will also be the structure to vibrate. And then the oval window will vibrate the lymph inside the cochlea, and then the sensory hair cell will detect the vibration of the lymph inside the cochlea. So that's why the answer must be D. And you may ask that why not cochlea? And the reason I have just mentioned it should be the lymph inside the cochlea to vibrate, but not the cochlea itself. So for this question, it's using the MC method to ask about the mechanism of hearing. So the possible variation can be the structural questions to ask us the hearing mechanism. Also, it can reverse the order to ask that if a certain structures are damaged, so any disease it will be caused. For example, the eardrum is damaged, or the sensory hair cells they are damaged. So how could it affect our hearing? So that's something we also need to learn.